Welcome to Spin Town, everyone. This is going to be a bit of a vlog. You know how Zach gets on and just roams around randomly and then rambles for 10 minutes? It's going to be kind of like that, except I'm going to have a point. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, this video is going to be about what my weekend plans were and what they now are. Uh, my weekend plans included playing in the Big Walls 200-player match. That was supposed to happen Friday evening. And it did happen Friday evening. It just didn't happen like it was advertised. Um... If you haven't heard about it, it was going to be this big walls match with 200 people playing in it all at once, which is 160 more people that normally play in a walls match. So that's a big change. I mean, it was going to be a lot of fun dynamics that were going to be changed in the game as far as gameplay. And then you also have the fact that, you know, it's a huge difference just for the server to be able to handle all that people and everything. It's a lot of changes. But, you know, they had planned a couple days ahead of time, I guess, you know, testing servers and stuff like that. But... It still, they didn't plan enough because it didn't work out. When the time came for people to get into the server, because VIPs and stuff were supposed to have first access, when that time came, nobody could get in. There was a few people that were probably whitelisted, I guess, and administrators that were in, but nobody else could get in. And we just kind of sat there refreshing, 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 hoping it would let us in, because we didn't want to miss out. This was going to be a big deal. They promoted the hell out of this thing for a couple weeks. And... uh Again, we just we couldn't get in. Eventually, we find out that the IP was changed, and as soon as the IP is released, I mean, it was five minutes, and the server was completely full. It probably wasn't even five minutes. It was probably more like two or three minutes, and the server was completely full. Uh, and we knew it was going to be like that. Me and Mark and some of the others, you know, we knew it was going to fill up fast because they promoted the thing so hard on their website. I mean, it was on the front page of their website for a while, and... They also promoted the fact that they were going to have these famous YouTubers in the match as well. And that's going to get you a lot of fanboys wanting to play. Even people who don't normally play the walls were going to want to play in this match. Just so they can get a glimpse of some avatar, which is kind of silly to me. I mean, it wasn't just the fact they wanted to play in this game a little bit. You know, the people that were already walls fans. I mean, you had people going out there buying VIP and buying pro kits. That you, they, The only reason they were buying it is so they can play in this match and kind of meet some of these YouTube celebrities. And, again, that's kind of silly for me. I, I'm, I don't fanboy that much over avatars. But some people did. And the administrators of this website knew this. They knew that they were going to have all these people buying these kits and these uh, uh, the VIP ranking and stuff like that just so they can play in this match. They knew this, yet they did not make sure that they planned ahead of time to allow these people in the game. I mean, 200 people, like I said, me, Mark, and a lot of the others, we knew that was going to fill up. Not everybody would get in. That's why we were sitting there with our Minecraft open, refreshing the server, like every 10 seconds, a lot of us, making sure that we'd be trying to get in within the first few seconds that it became open. And even though we were doing that, a couple of us didn't get in. I got in, but I got kicked from the server. I got disconnected. I, I wasn't kicked by like a GM or administrator. I was just disconnected. I don't know if it was my Minecraft or what, but you know, I couldn't get back into the game after that, and that really sucked. But people like Mark, who was sitting there refreshing, just trying to get in over and over from the very second the server got open, he couldn't get in. And Mark is not just like a VIP or a pro kit uh, user. He's a GM on the website. He's one of the very first GMs, matter of fact. And it kind of sucks that the administrators and the people organizing this didn't make sure that the people helping them out on their website, they call us staff, but we don't get paid. So the very least you can do is make sure that the GMs get in this game if they want in the game. And not only did they not do that, but they took away our powers. Yeah, so any GM you saw in the game and that you were complaining to, there's not a damn thing we could do to fix anything. If you were getting team killed, and we definitely saw people getting team killed, we couldn't do anything about it. We could not kick them. We could not ban them. We couldn't... It was just... We were kind of just a regular player in that match. And that was really stupid. It's going to have team killers and cursing and all the foul language and just inappropriate content that was in that match. That stuff is getting promoted and highlighted now by other YouTubers that you begged probably to play in this match. I mean, you made a big deal of Captain Sparkle's Captain Sparkles and all these other people being there and now when they upload videos of this Walls experience they had, you're going to show all these people all this inappropriate language and team killing 
that you don't want to promote within your community. You try to make get rid of those things, and then all of a sudden you're promoting them. It makes no sense at all to take away the powers of the GMs. But yet they did it, <laughs> and it, I'm sure it made for an interesting chat. Uh, I, I noticed, you know, just looking down at the chat while I was playing, lots of things that shouldn't have been there, and I wasn't even paying attention to the chat very much. Uh, if I was to go back and look at my recording, I, I'm scared to see how much stuff is in there that shouldn't be that normally people would get kicked or banned for. Um, let's see, what other complaints did I have about the game? Ah, oh, spectating. Okay, you know there's going to be a ton of people there. A lot of them aren't even going to be Walls fans, right? So, Because you're promoting all these YouTubers being there. So you know there's going to be a lot of people that don't get in and are just going to spectate. Why would you allow spectating in a game like this? Because, okay, maybe so people can keep recording after they die and, you know, they can make videos to post on their channels to advertise the walls. Okay. But as far as gameplay goes, if anybody is trying to sky base, especially one of your celebrities that you let in the game, you pretty much wrote them like a death sentence. If you've ever tried to bridge out from a sky base or to pillar up with a spectator in your way, you pretty much know if you're going like this and you place a block to stand on it, but there's a spectator there, you're just going to fall. And if you're way up in the air when that happens, uh, you're pretty much dead. So allowing spectating in this match was just a bad idea in general. Maybe you should have allowed GMs to spectate uh, and not taken away their powers. That probably would have helped things a lot. But again, just poor planning, poor organization. Hopefully they do learn some things from this, like not allowing spectating. Hopefully they have more servers available so if you don't get in the first server, somebody you can at least still play in a 200 match. Um, because, I mean, I know why they want to promote the YouTube celebrities being there. They're trying to get the word out about their own website and everything like that. That makes sense. But you have to plan for that. Uh, so, again, you need multiple servers available. You need to disallow spectating. You need to make sure the people that you have moderating your games and your forums and stuff are actually allowed to do their job so you don't promote the wrong type of play okay you don't want people out there thinking you can come over to the wall servers and be a total dick and it's okay but yet that's what you did this with this last game um anyways enough with the wall uh, 200 tournament that was just a huge disaster i will upload a few clips from that after this i guess um the other thing I'd planned to do was play in the GM tournament that's supposed to be happening right now, really, and tomorrow. There's supposed to be, I think, eight teams playing in it, and it's all run by GMs, not the administrators. Um, and this was, again, so far very poorly organized as far as uh, we didn't really know ahead of time very long how what time it was going to be, everybody's matchups. And, you know, unless the people that are running this are all still in high school or middle school and they don't have real jobs you know this is a problem because people like me you know I do work for a living I work at least 40 hours a week and if I want to take you know a few hours of my day uh, to do a walls tournament and that's going to take place over two days I need to build a plan ahead I need to make sure I'm off work I need to make sure that I don't have other things I have to have done at that time and I did that even though I only had a couple days notice from the point where they gave us the actual time. They gave us the day, uh, probably a week in advance, maybe longer, I don't know. But we had no times till a few days ahead of time. And I myself, you know, I was still able to make it. I planned ahead. And But people like the Camping Rusher and people like Zach and stuff, that, you know, a lot of them, they weren't going to be able to make it because they didn't have this stuff out there ahead of time. And, you know, you put a team together and then you find out, you know, three days ahead of time that, oh, now half my team can't be there because these guys didn't post the information early enough. And so that's one problem. And then today uh, I get home and I'm ready to play because, you know, I planned ahead and, you know, it was almost time. I get on and I have a message waiting from Nyan saying, oh, they decided to move it to next weekend. Ah, oh, well, guess what? I work every other weekend, and if I want to take this weekend off like I did so I can play in this tournament, I have to work next weekend now. So thanks a lot, GMs. Fucking assholes. Um, yeah. So that, that's my weekend right there. Uh, the one tournament I get to play in was a huge disaster, and the other one got moved back to another weekend, which now I'm going to have to go and try to 
change my schedule around again to make sure I can play in it. And I don't know if I'll be able to because, uh, again, I'm supposed to work every other weekend and I took this weekend off. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, let's just hope that somebody starts to plan ahead a little bit better in the future if they do another Walls 200 tournament or if they do another GM tournament. This last second bullshit is just really annoying. But I'll upload some clips that I did get from the game uh, coming up next, the big 200 match. There's really not a whole lot of interesting I can show off because, you know, I was sky basing and then got kicked. So, so yeah, I'm most of the times I'm up in the air just mining iron over and over with my leprechaun kit trying to give me and Nyan a full suit of armor. And that's not very exciting. Then all of a sudden I get kicked. So and then I spectate a little bit. So if I can find anything interesting out of the, the footage, I'll post it. But there's not going to be much, I guarantee it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Your video challenge for today is to post in the comments what you thought of the Walls 200 match if you were going to play in it or if you were going to watch uh, footage from some of your t YouTubers that were going to play in it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Wait, we get pro? We yeah, you, you'll yeah. get a pro account if you don't die. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go put myself in a little uh, cave and uh, camp it out. I'm just, I'm just you know, allowing people to spectate this match was a huge mistake. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I will be yeah, going on. I will be here now. Yeah, I think it should kick you once he starts. Um, I will be. Oh, we got. I Wolfie has been amazing this game. <laughs>